welcome to infinite physics a never ending journey into the world of physics hello everybody welcome back to infinite physics youtube channel in this video we are going to do some experiments related to vernier caliper and you can see this is a 3d diagram which is related to vernier caliper which is on your screen and now what is this vernier caliper refers to Vernier caliper is a measuring instrument which measures some linear dimensions. Linear dimensions like length, breadth, height, diameter, depth. These all linear dimensions we are going to measure by using this apparatus called Vernier caliper. And mainly this Vernier caliper is consist of two scales. You can see here this is a big horizontal scale called main scale it consists of centimeter scale similar it is similar to your centimeter scale for example uh, 0 and 1 in between we have a 10 deflections or a 10 divisions one division is equal to 1 mm so 10 divisions is equal to 1 centimeter or a 10 mm and you can see this one is a one year scale which is moving scale now focus on the divisions on the uh, one year scale it consists of one reference line this zero refers to a reference line and it consists of total 10 divisions on it this scale is a one year scale and now focus on the jaws it consists of two different jaws these two are the upper jaws and these are the lower jaws of a one year caliper these two lower jaws of a one year caliper is helpful to measure the external diameter of somebody for example if you're going to measure the external diameter of a spear we are going to use this lower jaws and then these two are the upper jaws these are helpful to measure the internal diameter of a beaker if you are going to measure anything internal we are going to use these upper jaws and it consists of another part called tail and this one this is a tail of a vernier caliper which used to measure the depth of a beaker and this is the basic information regarding the apparatus vernier caliper ready yes POC first year physics experiment number one which is related to vernier caliper and our first experimental aim is to measure the diameter of a small spherical body that too we are measuring the external diameter of this small spherical body and what apparatus we need firstly we need vernier caliper and a spherical body this is your vernier caliper and we are using the small spherical body to do this experiment and then we need some formulas first formula focus on the first formula that is nothing but least count denoted by letter lc lc is equal to value of 1 msd divided by total number of vsd msd means what main scale reading where we come across with this msd in a one year caliper we have only two types of a scales first one is a main scale and the second one is a one year scale so that means what value of one main scale division divided by total number of one year scale division and the second very important formula is total reading that is denoted by letter tr tr is equal to msr plus cvd into lc where msr means main scale reading plus cvd cvd means coincident vernier division that is multiplied with the least count lc and these two formulas we are using in this experiment and the second and the next two important thing is diagram look at the upper jaws this is a vernier caliper and these two are the upper jaws these two are the upper jaws which are helpful to measure the internal diameter of the body for example if you want to measure the internal diameter of a beaker then we use this upper jaws and for this experiment we are not using these two upper jaws but we are using this lower jaws why we are using these lower jaws lower jaws of a vernier caliper is helpful to measure the external diameter for this experiment we are using lower jaws of a vernier caliper and focus on the two scales this is a movable this this one is a movable scale you can see in the diagram here okay this is a movable scale called vernier scale and this one is a main scale okay there we are placing our spherical body and we are measuring the external diameter of a small spherical body this is all about the diagram and the next and very important thing we need to find these observations first observation focus on the first observation value of 1 msd now we have to go back into the diagram and we have to find the value of 1 msd look at this diagram the diagram is like this correct yes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 this is 0 and this is 1 centimeter 
that means this distance is a 1 centimeter they are asking value of 1 msd this one line this one line refers to what in mm this one line refers to 1 mm so 10 line refers to 10 mm 10 mm is equal to 1 centimeter so what is this one line one line gives a numerical value of 1 millimeter 1 millimeter is equal to 0 0.1 centimeter is it correct yes we are going back there in observation section now you can write what is the value of 1 msd we already found that value 1 msd means 1 mm that 1 mm is nothing but in a centimeter 0 0.1 centimeter and the second and very important thing total number of vsd what is this vsd means vsd means vernier scale total number of divisions on vernier scale 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 total number of divisions on a vernier scale is obviously this is a 10 so now focus on the third observation least count you know already the formula least count is denoted by letter lc is equal to value of 1 msd you know already i'm writing again here okay now focus uh, value of 1 msd value of 1 msd is nothing but how much i'm rewriting again here you can focus value of 1 msd value of 1 msd is 0 0.1 centimeter and what about the total number of divisions on a vernier scale that is you know already 10 so that means what 0 0.1 0 .1 centimeter divided by 10 is nothing but 0 0.01 centimeter this is the least count of our vernier caliper this one okay and the next and very important thing is a tabular column inside a tabular column you look at the first column which is related to object that means what we have to write what object we are using in this experiment what object we are using yes spherical ball or spherical body we are using that is our object of our experiment and the dimension what dimension we are measuring in this experiment the dimension is diameter we are going to find the external diameter that is our diameter so that is our dimension next next section next column is related to trial number we have to perform this experiment three times so we have trial one trial two and a trial three and then msr main scale reading we have to note down in this column that is related to main scale reading in centimeter we have to note down the values and this is cvd cvd means coincident vernier division and we have to note down those value in this column and the third section is related to tr and the fourth section is related to mean tr and this is all about the tabular column. Now we have to perform the experiment. Okay, to measure the diameter of this uh, spherical body, I'm using a vernier caliper. You know already about vernier caliper. It consists of two scales. And the first one, this is a main scale and this is a vernier scale the main scale is similar to your centimeter or meter scale and this one this vernier scale consists of total 10 divisions and the first one is a reference line and we are measuring the external diameter of the spherical body so i am placing the object in the lower jaws then i have to take the main scale reading how to take the main scale reading so we need to focus on the reference line and where it is touching in the main scale that is the main scale reading so it is touching at a 2.5 and this is a 3 centimeter so this one is a 2.5 so i'm taking first reading trial number one main scale reading is 2.5 next i have to check the cvd coincident vernier division that means which line which number of line is touching like which is similar which is coinciding with the main scale reading that is nothing but cvd for me for a trial number one cvd is two the second line this line is coinciding with the main scale so cvd is two and for a trial two i am taking the object little below here so next trial two main scale reading is same that is 2.5 and then cvd coincidence vernier scale division for a trial 2 and it is again 3 so next i am repeating this experiment third time so now i am taking the object little below again so 
so here the main scale reading is 2.5 and the CVD is 2 2.5 main scale reading and a CVD is 2 so now we have to calculate and we have to tabulate these value in the tabular column so okay now I'm tabulating those values here uh, first my MSR reading is 2.5 for a first trial CVD is 2 and for a second trial it is again 2.5 and a CVD is 3 and for for a third trial main scale reading is 2.5 centimeter and the CVD is 2 now I have to calculate for first one trial number 1 TR1 I am measuring so for TR1 MSR is 2.5 2.5 plus in the bracket CVD CVD is 2 2 into LC you know already LC is 0 0.01 centimeter so the answer is 2.5 is nothing 2.5 plus 2 into 0 0.01 is nothing but 0 0.02 so add this and you will get 2.5 5.2 centimeter and this is TR1 next I am finding TR2 TR2 is nothing but MSR MSR is same 2.5 centimeter plus CVD is 3 3 into 0 0.01 is LC and now I am finding TR2 2.5 plus 3 into 0 0.01 is nothing but 0 0.03 and again TR2, TR2 is nothing but how much? 2.53 centimeter. And for a trial 3, that is nothing but TR3, is nothing but MSR is same 2.5 and plus in the bracket CVD is 2, 2 into 0 0.01 and TR3 is nothing but 2.5 plus 0 0.02 that is nothing but 2.52 centimeter so now i am writing these values here first tr1 is 2.52 tr2 is 2.53 and the tr3 is again 2.52 now i have to find the mean tr mean tr is nothing but tr1 plus tr2 plus tr3 i will show here so mean tr is equal to TR1 plus TR2 plus TR3 that is not divided by 3 so first TR1 is nothing but 2.52 plus 2.53 plus 2.52 divided by 3 that is nothing but 7.57 .57 divided by 3 the answer is 2.5233 centimeter. This is mean TR. So I am tabulating this value here. The mean TR is 2.5233. What is the result of our experiment? Diameter D of the given spherical body. That is nothing but 2.5233 centimeter. Now I have to convert this value in a meter. To convert, I have to divide it by 100. 2.5233 divided by 100. That value is nothing but 0 0.025233. And this is the result. So, result of our first experiment is diameter D of the given spherical body in centimeter it is 2.5233 centimeter. And this is all about our experiment. Thank you. See you again.